Hello everybody, my name is Rojo and welcome back to Wizardry 7. Last time we decided to go back down to the bottom of the Tower of Dane here so that we could um, restock a uh, potentially important supply here. And that is uh, some Jonga powder. So we're gonna just pop over here and uh, grab some. And uh, yeah, of course we've got good old Almagort here. The guy who's been fleecing us every time we... Uh, Increase rank in the old uh, temple here. Um, we are going to trade, I think, with you. Because I think he's got inventory space. Let's pull some gold. And let's buy Jonga powder. It's very expensive, but uh, potentially going to be worth our while here. I'm also going to buy these um, food items. Because I think at least one of them is going to... Um, give us some mana back when we eat it. Uh, probably the apples. I don't, I think the bread might just be stamina, but either way, I think it's worth having some. These, I think, are a little bit too expensive. And then, uh, also, we're gonna cancel out of this, exit that. We're gonna trade with Nurb here. We're gonna sell this, um, Staff of Blessing that I bought, because we, we, we really just don't need it. Um, only 375 gold, though. I thought I bought it for quite a bit more than that. I'm gonna say no. And, um... We can see if Belkinzor is open. Like, we're not in any rush to sell it, but, um... We can see if Belkinzor is open. And maybe see if he'll give us a better price. Um, Merchant's giving us better price isn't really something I, I thought about until just now, but, uh... Um, we shall see. Anyway, I think we're, we're done here. We could try doing some theft with Elise, actually, but, uh, maybe we'll save that for the way out. And we'll go ahead and we'll just start a save like so. If we get in any fights on the way, I'm probably just going to run away. Um, because we don't really want to take a bunch of fights on the way over. Uh... We just really want to get back to the top. Case in point. <laughs> uh, although these guys are probably going to be fairly low level, now that I think about it. So I guess, I mean, fighting guys like this maybe isn't so bad. And they're going to silence us. They're going to charm somebody. Interesting. And uh, we'll just take swings at him. We'll see if we can get maybe a little bit of easy XP here. Because, uh, yeah, I mean, being back at the bottom of the uh, the tower does make our lives a little bit easier, I suppose. 276 XP, 28 gold. You know what? I'll take it. Uh, in the meantime, let's just go... I think something like this is pretty good. Uh, then I th think... We'll go this way, like so. We already solved this puzzle, so this shouldn't be too much of an issue. Didn't necessarily mean to smack my face on the wall there, but that's okay. And then we want to go south, I guess. Uh, yes, okay. Moment of truth time over here. Um, I'm going to guess... if that what we want is probably right about here. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I believe this is it. So let's go ahead and we'll use one of our Jonga powders here. This will save us a little bit of heartache getting through this area, I think. Because I think there's a trap normally, like, right uh, here-ish. Doesn't seem to be here now, so good stuff. And then I think we just want to go around like so, and yep, up here. Now this is the one that uh, may take a little bit of uh, doing. I think we go here. Uh, and then, I don't know, I think there's, there's pressure plates like everywhere, so... Or not pressure plates, but like pits or whatever they are. So I guess we just walk around until we hit something, I guess. There we go, there's one. Uh... This is not where I want to be. <laughs> I can see that um, pretty much immediately. Well, let's try this way instead. Um, I 
again, not what I'm looking for. There's a chest there, I think, maybe. That just brings me back outside. Uh, well... Let's just keep on looking here. I mean, there's only so many squares, right? Um... Can I check on this side? Well, there's a fight here. Ooh. No. No, thank you. <laughs> no Bentari fights for me today. As much as I uh, would love to have the experience points. Uh, no. Um, also, we're maybe... I mean, like, I imagine we must be getting close to the end of this place. Ah, here we go. This is what we want. Um... I imagine we must be getting close to the end of this place. So I'm expecting there to be a boss fight at some point. Which does mean that we may, um... Have to just accept... Like, some people are gonna get over-leveled. Because, um, if we try to... Fight a, a boss here based on the fights we've been getting... Uh, with, with people not sufficiently leveled up, we're just gonna get creamed. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I mean, we may anyway. Um, so, yeah, we'll... We'll just have to play that by ear. Also, uh, one thing I noticed, the candles are different sizes. I don't know if that actually indicates anything, but I hope it doesn't indicate, at the very least, the end of my character's lives. Because <laughs> I think it is called, like, the Candle of Life or something. Anyway, I think we need to go this way, and then maybe like so. And then in here. And then... Maybe this way. And yeah, okay, we're good. And then we get to sort of the annoying uh, part here. We'll uh, just retread the path that we already took through here. So we should be able to go like one. And uh, I think we have um, a bunch of mana to cast like some of this kind of stuff. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do it from um, inside the menu here, a little bit safer. So do a couple of those, and that should get us across. Eh, actually, maybe we'll do one more. Because Fempo's looking a little bit low there. This is just, I mean, it's less efficient than casting stamina, but it's also, like, a lot faster. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to do it this way. Uh, who else has the spell? You? You do. And there we go. We'll do uh, a couple of these. We'll be doing enough resting. We'll probably get this mana back pretty quickly anyway. Uh, not that we even really use it terribly often to begin with, so... Alright, now I think we're in a position where we have to uh, rest here. And uh, hopefully we don't get attacked. I'm gonna stop resting. Save the game. Continue resting. A little bit more here. Can also maybe do with a little bit of healing, but uh, I'm not gonna do that until... A little bit later here. Okay. Uh, I think we gotta go... No, it's this way. But we have to rest again. Uh, let's just take a look at our magic here. So you got 44. I know we're pretty low on it, on everybody. On the healing magic, so... Yeah, we're gonna... We're just gonna take it easy and uh, rest and just let that magic recuperate on its own. As best we can for a bit. We may uh, eat some of this food that I bought as well. All right, that's enough to at least get across here. And I think this will bring us pretty much back to where we want to be. Um, yeah, well, <laughs> it'll bring us back to where we got burned alive. But I think the... Uh, if we go not there, but here... We'll get to where we want to go. I think we're probably not going to take this fight, though, if I had to guess. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to nope out of that. I'm sure we'll see some more forced in encounter tiles on the way. Or not on the way, but rather uh, in the uh, unexplored areas of the top of the tower here. Or I guess we're going kind of going to the top and then going back down. And I think this is the elevator. Yeah, okay, great. So we're, we're back to the top. Um, I have no idea how to get into these, but uh, I suppose we'll find out. So let's go ahead and we'll just save our game. Pit of the Demon Spawn, yeah, no no thanks on that for now. What about uh, down here? I think I'm going to explore this first. 
Um, however, we're gonna we're definitely gonna rest for a little bit longer here. Get everybody back up to full stamina at the very least, and then we'll think about um, our magic situation. You're actually well, you're sort of getting there. You're getting there. I'm pretty sure like Elise and Gertrude have the best divine magic or whatever you call it uh, regeneration. But it could be mistaken. Oh, yours looks pretty good as well. Uh, let's try. And I, I think I did. I do think I remember reading something somewhere when I was doing research about the game a while back. That bananas are useful for something somewhere. Um, so I'm going to keep one bunch, but we're going to try eating some on uh, Gertrude here, I guess. And I'm not sure... If that did us any good, doesn't really seem like it. What about a, uh, a golden apple? Um, again, not not entirely clear. How about bread rolls? Um. I don't know. Maybe the food doesn't do what I thought it did. Maybe it does, maybe it's just stamina, and we're I mean we're already maxed out on the stamina, so I guess there's no reason to uh, to eat that right now. Uh, all right, let's get in here. We're gonna have to do some healing the old-fashioned way, I guess. Starting with uh, you, I think. Okay, that's good. Um, and then I think maybe we'll do... And eh, not you, because you're going to cast Enchanted Blade for me, I think. And you're going to cast Magic Screen, probably. So... Um... Let's try you instead. You can just heal yourself a bit. How about that? Alright. Next up, let's go ahead and get some, uh, some buffs going on here. We need a casting of... Detect Secret. We need a casting of... Uh, magic screen, certainly. Uh, we want a casting of uh, armor plate, if you would. Well, I guess not you. You're you're a little bit too low level right now, but um, surely somebody can cast it for us. How about you? That'll do. And uh, I was gonna have you give me an enchanted blade here. Okay. Buffs are looking good, and let's, uh, all right, well, I wasn't expecting a fight quite yet, but, uh, so be it. Shadow Crusts and Creeping Cruds. What if we just go ham on these guys, and then maybe use the Poet's Loot on those guys? As well as maybe a little magic? Uh, I was also looking at these spells, and, um, they are all distinct, like Firebomb and Fireball are slightly different. Um... Whereas, like, lightning is, I mean, it's different. It's also just, like, objectively worse. <laughs> but it's the only fire attack spell, or one of the only attack spells that the priest spellbook gets. Um, so, yeah, there's there's reasons to use one or another. But uh, we're going to do a good old-fashioned, uh, just make sure I got the right group here. We're going to do a good old-fashioned fireball on these guys and see how that goes. Uh, and then you, I think, or actually, you know what? Since you uh, have the, the Minad's Lance, well, I guess we'll do that, and then we'll, we'll have you cast a, uh, a Firebomb on those guys instead. Increasing the power level not only increases like the damage, but it also increases, uh, a lot of the time, the, uh, the number of enemies that you'll hit. Yeah, the Creeping Cruds are not super high level uh, enemies here. There is actually one other thing that I looked up that I f totally forgot about. Um, and that is just that, uh, oh, that's too bad. Um, that is just that, uh, we probably want to use the, the mirror, what is it, the Miramasa Blades, um, active special effect or whatever. Um, because it's good and I think it's infinite. If it's not, we can always just reload the game anyway, right? So. Oh, uh, yeah, let's do that. I think we'll come over here and we'll do a spell with you now. Uh, something to the tune of maybe some whipping... Uh, no, you're too low level. Never mind. Just just fight. Just fight. It's fine. 
Uh, you're going to use that. I think probably should have just used that last time, I guess. Uh, you're going to fight, and then you're going to give me... Do you have Ice Ball? You don't. You have Whirlwind, though. I think I'll uh, give me a Whirlwind on those guys. Maybe you can finish them off. Problem with these guys is, like, we got so many debuffs on us now that who knows if we'll be able to recover. Assuming Fempo even lives, which he didn't. <laughs> so, yeah, the, the, fight, the fight's doable. Certainly, but, uh, yeah, I'm gonna reload that. Because I think Fempo's gonna need his, uh... His vitality point to get to his next level anyway, so, or get to his next class, next level, so... Um, we'll just, uh, see if we can find a more favorable fight. Uh, but before I do that, let's try this. I'm gonna, we'll do this on a, like, a separate save, or we'll make, we'll make a separate save, how about that? Before we do this, on game two. And, um, yeah, if we just take this off, and then equip it, invoke special power, yes. Now, we can't see what this does, but, uh, I think what it does is, is so, like, I, I think in the mechanics video I talked about how, like, attacks and swings work, and so, as your, your speed and dex increase, and I guess maybe your level too, I'm not exactly sure how, how the formula works, but, uh, um, basically as you get stronger, you, you get more attacks in a round, I think up to two attacks per weapon. I may be getting the terminology mixed with, between attacks and swings, but anyway, just bearing with me, you get, so we get the two, the two attacks per weapon, but then you get a certain amount of swings as well. So, so, like, when we double hit somebody, when we attack them, um, those are our swings kicking in. The Muramasa Blade makes it so when you invoke its special power, your attacks are set to 1 to 4. Or, sorry, your, your attacks aren't, aren't affected, but your swings per attack are set to 1 to 4. So even if your stats are terrible or you're low level, you still get the maximum potential number of swings. So this may actually make Fempo incredibly powerful, <laughs> um, as if he wasn't already. And uh, it could be something that I should have been using before, but I think it sticks with him even if he's not actually still holding on to it. Which means then we can come over here and uh, just find somebody else to give this to. I guess we'll give it to you. Because Nishas can also use this weapon, so if I give it to you... Oh no, you can't use it. Never mind. Alright, it's Samurai only. My mistake. Well, for, for some reason I thought in Wizardry 6... Uh, um... It could be used by ninjas, but uh, either way, we've got the, the blade. Should make him a bit better, and when we class change people again, we should be able to use it again and get uh, a nice effect out of it. So, now that we've done that, and it's not going to have like a huge effect, because he probably already had like three swings anyway, at least. Uh, potentially, so. Oops, not game one, just, just game. So let's see if we can get a more favorable fight now. I wonder if this is always going to be Danes. I, uh... I hope not. Because <laughs> there are... Or no, there, it's not always going to be Danes. Yeah, 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 no, we didn't, we didn't fight Danes. We fought Danes on the other floor. Um, on the bottom floor. We fought Cruds last time. Ah, here we go. My old friends. Uh, yes, everybody hide. That sounds good. Acid spray, to be expected. Reduced, but barely. <laughs> Lizard's running, that's fine. And everybody's hidden, alright. Now we just go to town here. Um, we'll try and put these guys to sleep. I think we can at this point. We'll have you fight, and um... We'll try a blinding flash with you, I guess. Good stuff. Ooh, we still get acid sprayed though, that's annoying. Yeah, and there's our four swings right there that we weren't getting previously, I don't think. So, uh, yeah, we're not always going to get four swings. Um, but uh, when we do, with that Muramasa Blade, it's going to hurt a lot. Alright, and you get a ninja level here. You need, I think you just need like a point of piety or something. So we're not too, too stressed about what you're up to as long as you just get that point eventually here. Um, as for you, I mean, you're so close. We might as well just give you that to max it out. 
And then, uh, I don't know, we'll give you some bows, maybe. Maybe should level up throwing. Well, no, I'm not going to be using any throwing weapons. Uh, not on him, certainly, anyway. Well, at least not most likely. Uh, definitely grab some more scouting. I think, eventually, if this gets to 100, it may obviate the need for us to even cast the tech secret, although I probably still will. Uh, definitely want that. And let's see, your ninja, so your alchemy's maxed out. So I guess I'm just gonna give you more of this. Yeah. That's fine. And, uh, oh, a ninja spell, okay. Um, let's go with... I wonder if maybe this crush spell could bail us out at some point if we get lucky, so I'm gonna grab it. I think we have a couple people with it. Uh, so far, but uh, a couple more ain't gonna hurt. Uh, let's go ahead and just get you healed up a little bit. And uh, probably have you do some healing as well. It sucks that we're just we're just so starved for, for this divine magic right now that it's making our life a little bit more challenging than I would like at times. But we're gonna go with this and Attempt to uh, continue on here. Ooh, we're going like way down, huh? Okay, all right. Let's try this room over here. Temple of the Magna Dane. Tell you what, let's wait and not go in there. <laughs> what's uh, what's down here? A fight. Okay. Yeah, no thank you. I think we'll, we'll skip that. Tell you what, why don't we go to the Temple of the Magna Dane instead? <laughs> I have a feeling uh, this other direction might be like another exit anyway. So let's just uh, see. Your eyes bulge at the decadent, obscene pulse of bodies that are strewn about the chamber ripe with wine and orgasm. Ugh. And standing in their midst, chanting and foaming, you gaze upon what must surely be the spawn of the devil himself. The Magna Dane. Am I gonna have to whoop his ass? I see a fountain there. Ye have risen high in the house of Dane. Though ye claim the title Lords of Dane, ye are not true Dane. And none but Dane may wield the holy power of the High Fathers. But I, Torquesad, the Magna Dane, shall make exception. Should ye dare face the challenge of the spawning pit, the choice is thine. Face the challenge of the spawning pit, or relinquish thy claim and titles in the House of Dane. Dost ye choose the spawning pit, or forfeit thy titles? Ay, ay, ay. What if I, what happens if we forfeit? I'm just curious. Well, we can all we we. Save scum this, of course, so let's see what happens. Thus ye has decided, so shall it be. From this moment ye are the enemy of all Dane, my children destroy them, and the hoary throng of licentious parish turns upon you. And we have to fight the Magna Dane. Which is just the one guy. I, like, the game is still an expert, right? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I thought there were supposed to be extra bosses on Expert, but maybe that's just not always the case. It's happened a couple times. Um, if it's not on Expert, then man, this game really is uh, scary. <laughs> um, let's see. Magnet Dane, two High Fathers, and two other Danes. We're not going to fight him. We'll uh, we'll see what the spawning pit's all about. So uh, let's just terminate the game. Check our options. Yeah, it's, it's definitely on Expert, so it says. Alright, so let's, uh, we'll pop back in here. Skip through, uh, this conversation as fast as we can. Oh, that's right, if you, yeah, if you, you can hit the spacebar to, uh, to pause. I was trying to use it to skip, but I 100% forgot that, yeah, you can actually pause the dialogue, which is convenient, and, uh, maybe something I should have been using. But I'll probably forget about it again. Anyway, what a name, Torquesad, Torquesade. All right, so let's, um, 
Let's try the spawning pit, I guess. We paid a lot of money to get these titles, damn it. <laughs> Thus ye has decided shall, shall it be. Into the pit must ye throw the bowels of our enemies, that the blood of their innards may entice the fiend. Into the pit must ye sprinkle the ashes of Diem, that the aroma of its scent may incite the fiend. Into the pit must ye hurl the stone of gates, that the magic of the gem may summon the fiend. Into the pit must ye recite from the Book of Immortals that the power of the word may bind the fiend. Then and only then may the spawn of hell be vanquished. Jesus. Thus is the call of High Father, High Lords of the House of Dane. Bring to me the demon horn that rises from his head, and I shall give you power and riches and knightly slaves to bed. Bring me... The great Cornu from the hells that spawn the fiend, and I shall lend ye power of Dane and throw the dark magic obscene and show the dark magic obscene. Go now, lords of Dane, delve into the spawning pit. Do not return without the horn. Once upon my throne shall ye sit. Well. <laughs> okay. It might have been easier just to fight him, if I'm being real with you. But, uh,. We definitely don't have the the stuff for that. Um, yeah, I think somebody had, somebody mentioned that I was missing something to uh, to finish the area, but I still wanted to go as far as I could. Uh, and it sounds like uh, they were correct, uh, which is fine. We'll we'll, uh, we'll look around. I uh, I have an idea of where we need to go based on what he just told me. Um, the guts, like we need the guts of of, of their enemies, which is going to be like the monk race. So we got to go kill some monks. So I guess we have to make a choice, I guess, as far as, like, do we want to help the uh, the monks or help the Danes? And I guess we've come this far with the Danes already. Oh, uh, no, I don't want to fight those. We'll find a better fight and just keep exploring this. Um, but, yeah, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to really do anything um, with the, uh, the pit right now. We're also missing, like, the Book of Immortals and some other stuff. I'm going to have to go back through the footage and... Uh, and write down exactly what it is that we need here. But uh, quite a few things. We do have one of those items though. We have the Ashes of Diem. Um, we got those here, actually. Somewhere on one of, the, one of the lower floors, as I recall. So is this always creeping shenanigans? No, here we go. Friendly lizards, thank goodness. Would have been nice if the dude would have let me drink out of the fountain before kicking me out, though. <laughs> just, uh, just saying, friendo. Would have been a, a real neighborly thing to do, but uh, I guess just wasn't in the cards. Um, I'm curious. Let me, let me try a little crush. See if see if we can actually get it to land on, on these guys. Uh, we're going to use the Poet's Loot here, fight with you, and we'll try another Blinding Flash, because that seemed to work out pretty well last time. Oh, we got two of them. Crush. Unaffected. Unfortunate. Maybe just uh, too low a power level. But uh, I think I had read at, at somewhere that uh, the spell can actually just miss as well, but I'm not sure if it would say unaffected or if it would say missed. So, uh, difficult to, uh, to judge on that one. We haven't really used it before, so... All right, and we'll just try and finish these guys off as best we can here. Um, I don't think we actually managed to get much done with the Poet's Loot there, but we'll try again. The, uh, the whip that he's wielding isn't terribly damaging. Although I guess it's possible he could get a crit. Good stuff. Another level, perhaps? Yes, you need a point of something, and it wasn't that, I don't think. I think he needs, like, piety, or was it personality? I think it was personality, wasn't it? Yes, he needs a point of personality. So uh, I'm going to have to retake this fight a couple times, probably, just to make sure he, he levels up appropriately. But uh, it shouldn't be that bad. Certainly not as bad as it was 
uh, last time or whatever when I had to grind for like two hours or, or so to, to friggin' uh, get uh, the levels that I needed. Alrighty, finally got the level that I wanted. It took a little longer than I thought it would, but um, got there uh, in the end, so that is good. I guess I'll just give him some of that. And uh, yeah, I was going to give you more oratory, I guess. Not really a whole lot, of, a whole lot else to give him aside from ninjutsu uh, in the physical section, I suppose. And then uh, you may as well get some additional thaumaturgy here. And um, yeah, I'm definitely going to grab anti magic here. Prism, Prism missile is an interesting spell as well, but uh, I think anti magic is better for the end game. And we'll go ahead and. Uh, Save. Upon the gate is a gruesome head cast in black iron, appearing like some hideous creature of the netherworld. Atop the forehead of the demonic face is a round opening, as if perhaps to birth a thick candle. Through the bars of the gate, you spy a distant chest, sealed and sparkling, revealing no clue as to its mysterious contents. Hmm. Well... I hate to say it, but we probably don't have what we need. Um, I'm guessing that the Magna Dane will give us something to, um... Oh yeah, I forgot I was going to sell that. Well, whatever. Um... Yeah, I'm guessing the Magna Dane is going to give us something. We definitely need to keep those. For the, uh, the summoning ritual, I guess. But, uh, aside from that, yeah, I don't think... Don't think we've got anything that looks like a black candle, do we? We've got all kinds of weird shit. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, black candles, I don't think is, uh... Is what if we got a black wafer. We could try that, but, uh... I think that's probably used somewhere back in New City, if I had to guess. We also try the Janga powder, maybe. We'll uh, we'll pop down a save and try a couple things while we're here. Uh, let's see here. No such luck. Do we still have the Janga powder though? No. So that stuff's pretty expensive. I'm gonna just reload that. And uh, let's try. Um. Not with you. Who has the, uh, the black wafer? Figure, eh, why not? I, like I said, I don't, I don't expect it to work, but we are right here, so. We may as well. May as well give it a try. How am I device? Is it seriously you? Nope, I've missed it. Where the fuck is my. <laughs> Black wafer. We have some other stuff too, like these moonstone and uh, the rebus stone, but I uh, I don't expect much to happen there. Ah, there it is. Um. Oh, we can we can read this. Oh, E T X B Y Y R. Hmm. I think I actually knew that that we could read it. That is. But uh, we'll we'll try. There we go. No effect, not surprising. Um, the only other thing we can do, I think, is uh, save the game and we'll try good old fashioned, uh, good old fashioned casting of Knock Knock. And unfortunately nothing happened. So I think that's it. I think we're, we're done in the, uh, the Dane area. We're not getting back in there. Uh, so the only thing left to do is, um, I assume that, uh, yeah, this is going to bring us to where we need to do this stuff. So we probably don't want to deal with that yet. I am going to just mess with it real fast. Oh, I see. And then, uh, this brings us into here. Okay. I assume we can jump in this. No. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Everybody takes a bunch of damage. Um. Huh. 
Huh. Well, I mean, we could continue down this path. I suppose, instead of, um... Instead of, uh... Going the way we're supposed to. Uh, to get back. But I kind of feel like without the stuff... That we need... To do what we're supposed to do in, in that pit. I'm like, I think we're gonna... We're gonna be, um, kind of sad. Going, uh, that route, so... Instead, I think we just... Except that uh, our time here, at least for now, is done. And that um, we're going to go somewhere else for a change. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, 20, 30 something episodes in, something like that. We'll just deal with these jokers real fast. Um, and uh, yeah, we've finished most of three areas. And there's only like, what, another... If we look at the map while we're fighting here. I don't know, 10 <laughs> areas to go, maybe more. So, uh, yeah, you know, buckle up. <laughs> it's going to be a long playthrough. Just, uh, just a hunch. And there we go. A little bit of XP there. That's fine. Excuse me. <laughs> What's this? Oh, hey. It's, uh, it's this guy again. We haven't seen, seen a friendly NPC in a while. Rodin Lewerks. Well, 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 if it isn't the Neps. Um, what, do you have anything? You have the legend map. Shit, dude, do we have, um... We don't have enough money. What could we sell? I know that we, we have a couple things that I want to get rid of anyway. And we probably want that map, no matter what, but that's going to be another place that we don't get a map. <laughs> um, which is kind of a bummer. This is costing us a ton of money. We're going to run out of money eventually, but uh, then again, we maybe haven't looted like the the best of the best areas yet either. So who, who knows what the future is going to bring here. But um, yeah, we're going to definitely try and get that item. We just need to find some stuff to sell. Like this ringer is sounding. We don't need this. So we'll sell that. Um, we'll sell... This like I wanted to. And yeah, different NPCs do give us different uh, amounts. So I wonder if that has something to do with like... How much they like us or whatever. Or how much like a race likes us. I don't, I don't know if it's like per NPC per se, but... Um, yeah, there's something, something going on with the faction system. That uh, may be affecting our prices here. Or maybe that one guy just, you know, <laughs> is ripping us off because he's, he's a shady dude. Which wouldn't be surprising given how he's been extorting us in every uh, step of the way up through the tower. So, there is that to consider. Uh, is there anything else we want to get rid of on you? Could you get rid of the cherry bombs or like cure stones? Um, or a book of firewalls? How much is that worth? Quite a bit. Um, I think this just gives us Fire Shield, which is not a bad spell. Um, but I'm going to get rid of it. Alright, I made the necessary trades. Um, I ended up selling uh, a Nodachi, which is uh, an item that I imported, I believe. It's a decent weapon, but um, it's two-handed, so it, it really limits its usefulness, in my opinion. Uh, compared to being able to dual wield... Uh, or wear a shield, I guess. And um, I also sold one of her amulets of life. I'm not even sure if they're reusable. Um, the only thing that I noticed is like he would buy an amulet of life for 1680 from her and only 1200 from Fempo. I don't know if there's any difference between the items, but I sold the one that was less valuable. But it may just be that like he likes her more than him, so she was getting a better price, and I just missed out on a little bit of gold. I'm not really sure, but uh, either way, we've barely got enough money, so we're gonna buy this map and uh, be done with it and uh, I guess um, we may as well take this opportunity to just chat with him for a sec uh, hello what have you been doing what are you looking for where have you been can't say um 
Do you know Magna Dane? Lord of the House of Dane. Do you know Elmagort? I see, yeah, you're still after Shritus, so I guess you haven't found him. Um, I guess we can ask. <laughs> Ooh, spicy, all right. Um, well, I guess uh, we'll we'll just leave you be for now, and uh, we'll uh, we'll just go. We could try to steal from him too, I guess, but yeah, I spent all the time sort of cleaning out stuff in my inventory, so we'll just uh, leave uh, things as they are, I think, and uh, we'll grab this map and read it. Whatever was written upon the map is long ago faded. Now it is but a blank piece of parchment dotted with several scattered holes. Around the edge of one hole near the center, you can just barely discern the faint remnants of a ring of reddish dye. Hmm. I'm assuming all these together are going to lead to something. <laughs> what? I have no idea. But what I do know is we're running out of resources pretty quick here. Um... Maybe may, may come a time when we can't afford a map. But, uh, for now, um, I think we need to decide where we want to go. I mean, we're, uh, we're near the Red Mountains. We're near, what is that, uh, Nicolent, I think, which is where the Terang are supposed to be. Although I'm not sure we want to go fight them just yet. <laughs> Um, there's also the Greater Wilds to the southwest, or we could go back through the poppy field, go back to, uh, to New City, where I'm remembering we, we didn't find the Black Market ever in there, we never found Old City in there. Um, I'm not sure I want to spend a whole lot of time looking for them, somebody did mention that I should talk to Father Ruli, or Rule or whatever, whatever his name is again. Um... There's also the Ratkin Ruins, which we've heard a little bit about. Uh, or we could go to the town of uh, Mukarama and uh, see if we can get one of the items that we're looking for for this uh, this ritual we're trying to do for the Magna Dane here. Uh, again, I'm going to have to look up and see exactly what it is that we need to do. But uh, yeah, I think, uh, I don't know, I'll think on where I want to go, but it'll... I th I think we'll probably end up going east, uh, toward, uh, toward Monkarama. Maybe, hopefully, <laughs> it'll be a little bit of an easier area tra to, uh, traverse as well than, uh, the tower has been, so, uh, we can get through it maybe a little bit quicker as well, um, but it should be, should be nice to, like, get back into a city and maybe, uh, you know, be able to find some new shops and all that kind of stuff, assuming, you know, the, uh, the monks don't hate us for working with the Danes so far. <laughs>